are two things that you can do to drastically improve the appearance of your skin. So if you look in the mirror and you see dullness, if you see dryness, if you see just a lack of vibrancy that you maybe once had, there's a couple of things that you can do that is completely supported by science. I'll put some references in the description box and they're really easy to implement. It's the kind of things that you can do that will turn your skin around pretty quickly. The way that I discovered any of this is I'm doing a certain thing a couple nights a week and it has really, really improved my skin. So I started to dissect why and I kind of came across this method that I think is super duper important for having more vibrant skin, more glowy skin, more bouncy skin, and more just overall vibrancy to the skin, kind of like when I was younger. And it is crazy simple. So if you're new here, my name is Penny. I am a master esthetician. I'm really excited to share this with you today because it is super duper simple, science supported, and it's easy to implement. And I think you'll get results. And you probably have all of this in your skincare arsenal already. I'm also going to share my AM routine with you, my full AM routine that I'm doing right now, and I'm going to share two nights of my PM routine in this video as well. Okay, let's get into it. So the first thing that we are going to do is something called acidify our skin pH adjustment. Our skin naturally should sit somewhere between 4.6 and 5.6 on the pH scale. And a lot of the things that we do to our skin causes it to be alkaline. So harsh soaps or the face wash that we use or exposure to certain things. If we have dermatitis or dry skin, often our skin is off in its pH and it's off in the direction of alkaline. So we want to bring it back down into a lower acidic range and that is going to help in many ways. It's gonna help our microbiome, it's gonna help our skin barrier, it's going to help with ceramide production, all the way around, it is really, really going to help our skin to be its best. And this is not a small thing, this is super duper important. The other thing that's happening when we're acidifying our skin is something called desquamation. We're helping to kind of loosen up dead skin cells, remove them, reveal kind of fresher skin. We also help obviously offload um, hyperpigmentation pigmentation, so dark spots or irregularities, we can help to lift them off the skin when we use things that are acids, so alpha hydroxy acids and also polyhydroxy acids. So that is the first thing that we want to do. We want to acidify our skin. We need to bring it back down and that is super, super important. And again, this is all supported by science. This isn't just, oh, we need to exfoliate our skin, oh, you need to use a toner. It's not. It's actually providing the right environment for our skin skin so that our barrier can function appropriately. And when your barrier is functioning appropriately, you will see magic with your skin. Okay. The second thing that we want to do is we want to replace lipids. Now our barrier is made up of a bunch of different lipids. It's made up of cholesterol and fatty acids, ceramides, all of these things compose this, uh, in our stratum corneum, compose this barrier that helps to hold water in. Holding that water in is so incredibly crucial. Acidifying our skin is going to help with that. And then replenishing those lipids is going to double down on that. Okay. So how do we do these things? How do we practically implement this into our skincare routine? So here's what I've been doing two nights a week and it has been magical for my skin. It has definitely transformed the way my skin looks. I, I've just noticed a huge change and it's been now over several months and I'm really, really happy with it. I have been using this product from Dermalect. You guys have heard me talk about it a bunch, but I kind of played around with it until I found exactly the right kind of combination. It's just two steps, two nights a week. It's pretty easy. And by playing around with it, this is how I kind of found this concept for this video. Actually, this is a uh, salicylic acid. It's glycolic acid and it's L ascorbic acid here. Are a lot of acids in there, obviously lots of acids in there. This is going to acidify the skin. Of course, this is going to do all kinds of other things. Salicylic acid is going to help with our pores disencrustation. It's going to help to loosen up blackheads and congestion so that you can get kind of a more refined appearance to your pores. Glycolic acid we have talked about on this channel. It is phenomenal for your skin. It is so great for spurring on collagen production. It is really, really great for exfoliation. It's a little molecule so it can get in there and really help to do some uh, turnover of skin cells so that you reveal kind of a fresher appearance to your skin. It also has that L-ascorbic 
ascorbic acid. Now for me, I'm sensitive to L-ascorbic acid. So I only use this a couple nights a week. And because I do that, I have found that I'm able to tolerate it really well. I get really fantastic results without over exfoliating my skin or, or over exposing it to vitamin C. Perfect amount. In fact, I did start doing like every other night with this and it was too much. It was just too much. So sometimes less is more and this is one of those things where that's the case. Now, the other thing that I did with this product was I tried this on its own and then I also tried it topped with my Dermatology Soothe and Recovery. And what I found from that was when I used this all by itself, when I woke up in the morning, I did still like the way my skin looked. But when I topped it with this particular product, I was amazed at how good my skin looked. And I was really amazed by it because it's two things. And like, it, it is nothing like when I do my, my, my other nights of the week are retinoids and all kinds of other things. And I wake up the next day and my skin looks fine. This is the kind of thing where you wake up the next day and you're like, okay, something happened great overnight. Like you just can tell your skin looks refined. It still looks bouncy. It looks glowier, the whole thing. Well, that's what got me kind of investigating for this video because I'm like, why is that such a good combo? What is happening? Well, we're acidifying and we're replenishing lipids. And the specific thing that I want you to look for in your skincare, because you don't have to have these two things, is you wanna look for alpha hydroxy acids or you can look for a lactic acid. I'm gonna show you a really great budget option if you don't wanna get this. You wanna look for ceramides. You wanna look for cholesterol. You want to look for phytosphingosine. That's a mouthful, you guys. That particular ingredient is so important because there are studies, lots of them, that shows that as we get older, we start to lose ceramide 3 and sphetosphingosine. <laughs> Such a mouthful. And there's a direct correlation between our barrier and aged skin, dry skin, dehydrated skin, certain dermatitis, and the lack of ceramide 3 or the lack of pseudosphingosine. And so you want to look for that ingredient in your skincare. It is one of those superstar ingredients that is so incredibly underloved by me as well. Like I have a newfound affection for pseudosphingosine. Even though it's a hard word to say, it is an ingredient that my eyeballs are looking for anytime I am looking at a product that is going to help to replenish lipids. So acidify, lipid replenish. Those two things, that one, two punch is massively effective at repairing the barrier and allowing the skin to do what it does best and replenishing things that we are lacking as we are getting older. The change in the skin is incredible. So that's two nights a week, two steps. That's it. I mean, I wash my skin, obviously. And I try to wash my skin with a low pH cleanser and or a cream cleanser or something that doesn't strip the skin. I do try to do that. Now, I want to tell you what I've been doing in my AM routine. It is much more than two steps. So I want to share with you the, this kind of extensive routine that I do. And again, the components of this are acidification and then lipid replenishment. So remember that because that's what you can do with your own skincare products. You don't need these exact things. So basically what I do when I get up in the morning is first thing is I try to get in an LED session in the morning, just first thing in the morning. And honestly, I saw that on Angie Hot and Flashy quite a long time ago, and I decided, you know, I'm gonna give that a shot. And it is a really, really great way to implement LED. Just get it out of the way. First thing, have your LED sitting next to your bed, all of your skincare from the night before has definitely soaked in. You have a clean canvas. You are fine for absorbing the light and you just get it out of the way before you go on with the rest of your day, etc. So that's what I have been doing. Now, of course, there are days when I can't get that done. There are days when I'm like, I gotta get up, I gotta get going. But when I can, which is probably five days a week, I try to get in about 10 minutes of LED first thing in the morning. Now, after that, what I have been doing is I've been doing my Zip Halo. And I've actually been doing this for a new reason. Melanie and I had a conversation. If you missed that, I'll link it in the description box. But we had a conversation and we were talking about the gels from Zip. And she was talking about how when she used the gels from Zip that 
her skincare routine after that is uh, l less things because her skin is kind of saturated already because her gels are so incredibly hydrating and they're so great for the skin. And then you're driving it in with microcurrent. So I got to thinking about that because I really lack hydration. I feel like whenever my skin doesn't look its best is because I'm dehydrated looking and I just kind of look bleh. It exacerbates wrinkles. It makes hyperpigmentation look worse. It makes you look non-glowy, non-vibrant. But when you're hydrated, you look like a different person. In fact, when you wash your face next time, splash it a bunch and take a look at your skin when it's soaking wet. Obviously, that's an extreme example when it's soaking wet, but how much better does your skin look when it's just drenched in water? It looks a lot better. Well, imagine that just that outer layer of skin being really, really, really hydrated, it's going to look more vibrant. So that's the next thing that I've been doing, and I do it almost every morning now with my new Zip Halo. The reason for that is straight out of the box, that is a four minute program, and it is just ready to go. Some mornings I do four minutes, some mornings I do eight, and I do up to about 12 minutes, and I just freeform. I, I'm not even using the app the last two weeks. I've just been pulling that out, and and doing that and then I'm rinsing off the uh, zip gel but I'm not washing my face I'm just rinsing the gel off okay and I rinse it off really really well the next thing that I'm doing is my acidify step so I do one of two things in the morning I am either doing the ordinary lactic acid 5% or which I have just recently started using or I am doing Medicaid Press and Glow. So this one is obviously lactic acid and it's hyaluronic acid and it is crazy affordable. And I'm just testing this out. I really like it, hasn't irritated my skin. The low concentration of lactic acid is what I was really, really interested in. I don't wanna go in hard with any kind of alpha hydroxy acids. I'm just really trying to acidify to lower the pH. Also, I know that that uh, alpha hydroxy acid is going to loosen stuff up and allow for some of the hydration that I'm going to put on my skin to get in a little bit better. Now, some days I will do the Medicaid Press and Glow and I love this because it is polyhydroxy acids. Now, the reason why I love that is because in the summertime, polyhydroxy acids do not make you more susceptible to UV damage like alpha hydroxy acids do. So it's kind of a nice option to have on hand. It's nice if you are sensitive skin, but again, this is going to acidify your skin. I literally put a cotton round on here and I press it into my skin. I try not to wipe because I'm trying to retain some of that residue from the zip gel I kind of want that to stay in my skin and just keep it really really hydrated kind of fed and plumped and juicy which it is after I do the zip session and I just rinse off the excess gel I mean I rinse really well but I I definitely know that some of that is still there hydrating my skin okay so that's the acidify step so it's the same concept right we've brought the pH down now I then am doing something kind of unconventional and somebody is going to tell me how stupid this is, but I'm actually taking my Sukiyaka Suhada, which I've talked about on this channel now for six years. This is just a urea essence. It is like water and it is lightly hydrating. I love this. I I love it. it. It is so beautiful in the skin. It is so affordable. And to me, it is just one of those things I never, ever, ever want to be without. I put some of this in the palm of my hand and I put one pump of my one skin for the face into it and I kind of, you know, mix it up. And then I put that all my face, my neck down because it spreads it all around and it makes my one skin go a lot farther. And I just feel like it turns the Sukiyaka Suhada into this supercharged thing. It makes my one skin go forever. And I've just been loving it. So again, clearly that is not conventional, but it's been working for me. And if you are somebody that likes to be, you know, a bathroom chemist or a bathroom mixologist, then you might want to try that too. I love just getting those two things in at once. Okay, so after I do that, then I am doing my... Did I bring it? 
Maybe I didn't bring it in here. The next thing that I'm doing after that is the uh, notorium azelaic acid. So that has been my next step. And I have to tell you as an update to my azelaic acid video, it's been a few weeks now of using it consistently and 100% I can tell a reduction in the redness of my skin. So I am team azelaic acid a million percent. Okay, so the next thing that I do is I grab for a vitamin C derivative. Now I have a few that I choose from so you know, if you are somebody who likes vitamin C, if you like the derivatives, that's where I get this in. I like to have some antioxidant protection on board. But more important than that is my Needleless Serum. Now the Needleless Serum does have a copper peptide in it, which is why I choose to use a vitamin C derivative because they won't, they don't conflict with each other. But if I had to pick one or the other, I would choose my Needleless Serum in this moment at this time because the Needleless Serum has those things that are so important for the lipid replenishment. So it has the ceramides and it has the humectants. It also has that sphetosphingosine. Dermatology has it right, they knew. I was so excited that that ingredient is in so many of their products because they know what they're doing. So the Needleless Serum is the next thing that I do and then it's SPF which is the universal tinted moisturizer forever. It's either that or it's the Neova Silk Share. Um, sometimes it is uh, the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I like that one a lot too. I've got several different SPFs that I really, really love and I just pick one of them. And that is my whole morning routine. But the main thing that we're doing is the Acidify, okay? and the lipid replenishment. And I am loving the way that my skin looks over the summer. I just feel like it's bouncier, it's glowier, it's healthier looking, and it's crazy because I'm just focusing on those two concepts. So look through your skincare. Find yourself some alpha hydroxy acids. I know you probably have some. Or some polyhydroxy acids, especially if you're sensitive or if you're gonna be in the sun a bunch. Because again, polyhydroxy acids will do the job of acidifying your skin without making you more sensitive to the sun. It's such a fantastic option. I should do a whole video on polyhydroxy acids because they are such a great option for exfoliation and for acidifying the skin, etc. And then look for lipid replenishment. Look for phytosphingosine specifically. Get your stuff out that you use right now and search for that ingredient. I bet you're gonna find some things that have it and if they're replenishing kind of like the Soothe and Recovery, try that out. See if you have a product that you can use that will acidify the skin and then douse your skin in lipid replenishment and see how your skin responds. See if you get that same result that I have been getting from this one-two punch that kind of drove me down the rabbit hole that led me to this kind of concept of acidify and then lipid replenishment and incorporate it into your routine. Now, for the body, in case anyone wants to know, I have been using the exfoliating body lotion from Dermatology because guess what? It's lactic acid acid and it also has ceramides, it has sphetosphingosine, it has cholesterol, it has all of these fantastic lipids along with the lactic acid. So it has in one bottle the acidify and it also has the lipid replenishment. So super excited about that. I'm using this at night by the way. It is a little bit stinky, it has that lactic acid stinkiness to it. Then during the day I'm still just using my one skin. Sometimes I am using um, one from Gold Bond that I really like a lot but again the key is acidify the skin work on exfoliation and lipid replenishment it's the same exact concept for the body and then during the day just make sure that you're using an SPF on your body skin any exposed skin it's super super important I would be willing to bet that if you're consistent with this little concept that you will see really really great things with your skin I hope that this video was helpful I hope you're having a really wonderful day and I'll talk to you in my next skincare video Take care.